Hello, my warriors. How is it going? And welcome to the first episode of the Dragon's Gambit playthrough. We're gonna check out the new DLC, obviously. We're gonna start a new career and we're gonna have some fun. And by the way, can I please say that this key art is absolutely killer? I cannot wait to get my hands on a longbow, which is the new mech introduced in this new DLC. But man, look at the amount of missiles that thing shoots. It looks so damn awesome. But anyway, we're not noodling around. We are going directly into a single player new career. And I have already, you know, tested the first things just to know where we are landing. It seems like when we go for the Dragon's Gambit career, we will start with a Marauder 3R, a Jagermack S, a Centurion 9A, a Night Star, a King Crab, Victor, Warhammer, Quick Draw, Kintaro, Blackjack, and a Panther. That seems like we get a lot of juice early on. That means probably that we will face a lot of strong enemies early on as well. So, let's see. It's the year 3038, which is beyond what we've played before so the timeline has advanced following the union of hans davion and melissa steiner in 3028 the fatcom alliance was formed and a full-scale invasion of the capellan confederation was launched in the aftermath of the fourth succession war theodore coretta foresaw that hans davion appetites for conquest would eventually set his eyes on the draconis combine for years he has embarked on a tireless mission to bolster the Combine and their forces to defend against any looming conflict to avoid the same fate suffered by the Capellan Confederation. It is now the year 3038. On the heels of avenging death of your father Nikolai Mason, an enigmatic figure contacts you. One with a grave reminder of an outstanding debt that must be repaid. Alright, we're gonna start here. Uh, Karimo, open-ended, sandbox, we know that. We're gonna start a new career. I'm not gonna import any data because I want to start with just the stuff that we have. Began colonizing the stars. This is the standard trailer or intro. We're gonna skip that. Uh, it's just you know, if you start a new game, it's always there. Uh, we've seen it already, so it's nothing special. There's new new cinematic that is completely irrelevant to us. So, yeah, um, I can tell you guys again. We have a lot of metal early on. That is, it's gonna be, it's gonna be rough. We are the Dragon Riders. Fine, let's go. And we have a lot of these transmissions here, which are the like the Wrestlehawk one and the Cruces Lancers and like Heroes of the NSC and stuff. None of these matter. We're gonna go directly before the prayer. Oh, actually, I wanna I wanna see something. Uh, there is a priority mission that we will take in a second, but we have two very important things to do beforehand. We are a mercenary lance with a bunch of mechs and all of these mechs are in stock loadout we're gonna quickly very quickly and briefly go over these and then we will um yeah we will embark because i believe we will spend a lot of time in space and that time can be best used with working on mechs so seems like we got a good old uh, marauder i want to use it as one of my main mechs actually because i love marauders you know me uh first of all we need to strip the ppcs and i know you PPC lovers out there, you hate me for that already. Um, but the mech is too hot otherwise. I want to keep an autocannon. But as you can see, we have a bunch of good weapons here. Let's put an autocannon 5 burst fire on the mech. Um, it's really nice to intercept flying units. And our secondary weapons are going to be a large laser here. And then another medium laser here. Let's put the tier 3 on here. So we have 3 mediums, 1 large laser, 1 autocannon 5 burst fire. Put another ton of ammo in the mech and the rest is again maximum armor this is why i'm doing all of this i don't want to lose my max early on um so make sure that you max out your armor when you are getting into this campaign um I, I don't know what's gonna come but i can tell you that the max that we have are not optimized and you have all the means to do that uh, i see that we got some double heat sinks i'll put two in the engine they are relatively safe there and the rest is padding it out with singles um do we need that much i feel like that's the way to go so we are over tonnage Drop a little bit of leg armor. 59. Here we go. Yeah, 48 days, 70,000 sea bills, and we have a decent marauder. Quickly going over these. I'm not gonna put too much effort into those. Auto cannon two burst fires. Let's go. Get out of here. This is a auto cannon five build with two medium lasers. As you can see, Jäger makes a very little armor. They are made of paper. Click that max armor button, and you are good to go. We don't need all of these auto cannons. Two auto cannon fives are fine for a mech like that. Uh, since we have two, I think I want to double up on the ammo. Uh, gotta, gotta buy some more here, huh? Let's go. Kablam! And uh, actually, we have six tons left over. Huh. 
What are we doing with those? I mean, we don't really have any any options. We are playing vanilla here. So we have no options for any electronics. Ha! Uh, I mean, I'm gonna take two points here. Actually, let's not take it out of the head. Let's take it out of the legs, if anything. So that's a half ton. I mean, I guess I put another, like, full ton in the mag. And then we're gonna drop some single heat sinks in the mag. There we go. We have a bunch of them now. Yep, that seems good. Okay, start the work. So lowering the firepower for more survivability, more longevity. The funny thing here, by the way, is our medium mags are actually fine. They are decent enough to actually run uh, on the battlefield. So we're going to keep the autocannon 10. Um, one ton of LRM ammo is good enough. That allows us to click the max armor button and be almost there. Um, mm -hmm, let's give it a half ton. Seems decent. We are not maxed out on the center torso. Uh, sorry, on, on the head armor. But... With two medium lasers, two double heat... Uh, sorry, single heat sinks. One and a half ton for the autocannon, one ton for the LRM-10. That's good enough. Okay, start the work. Done. I know you want to get into the game, but guys, this is important. Same thing here with the hunchback. Um, it's actually good. It's, honestly, the hunchback is... It has two flaws. First of all, the ammo is in the side torso. We want to put him in the legs so that it's a little bit safer there. And then... Um... And then nothing. And we can basically drop a little bit of leg armor. Put that on the center. I want to have a little bit more back armor. Hunchbacks have huge, huge side torsos. Uh, get it to 10. And arms are fine. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Let's give it a little bit more head armor. Boom. Done. Ready. So. Um, two more things that I want to do here. Okay. We're gonna take a look at the Blackjack. Blackjack also suffers from low armor, but it's a very good mech to have. So we're gonna drop the small lasers and be good. Almost. Single heat sick gun. And a bit of auto cannon 2 ammo. Actually. Actually. This looks good. Again, we have a bit lower leg armor. Let's drop it down to 37 so we can upgrade the head armor just slightly to 30. Uh, and that's it. That's our blackjack. Again, quick work here. Uh, Panther is kind of fine-ish. Panthers are alright. Uh, I think I drop a heatsink to just max the armor. And that's it. We can even keep the jump jets. This is an alright mech to have. Lots of single heatsinks. And I know I have some doubles lying around. Um, but those doubles, they need to go in here. The Warhammer is a horrible mech when it comes to heat management. Stock. So we drop the machine guns to save some weight. We drop the SRM to save some weight. We'll give it a double heat sink in the center, and then we're gonna put two in the mech as well, so it has a little bit more to work with. Max the armor, very important. And we can put another single in here. Drop the singles from the arms more to the torso because it's better protected there. We have more armor plates on the side torso than on the arms, 60 to 44. Um, yeah, and that's that's all right. Two PPCs, medium and small lasers for point defense. We could even make it like full small laser and get another single heatsink in here. Uh, which is actually probably a good idea. Saves another ton. Get another single heatsink in here. This guy needs cooling. Like so bad. With the double PPC build, it definitely does. I don't think I'm gonna touch the other ones right now. The King Crab is alright as it is. The Victor is... Actually, the Victor should be touched. Because armor-wise, we are really low on that arm. And this is where our big, big boom sits. Uh, we drop the jump jets. That's four tons that we save. Click the armor button. Done. That, that's just it. Um, yeah. Actually. Put the ammo in the leg. And drop a ton for another single heatsink. Seems good. Alright. Yep. It's it's a nice brawler. A brawler that can work. Same with the, with the Kintaro. Same with the quick draw. Drop the LRM. We don't need that. Ooh, got a large laser here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's toasty, buddy. That's really toasty. Click Max Armor. Alright, that's awkward. So we have something like Pharaoh or Endo Steel on this guy, which is currently hidden. Uh, double SRM6 seems good. Uh, we need two tons of ammo for these. This is an interesting Kentaro, actually. I think I want to put a medium laser in here. want to make this something like a brawler. Um, half ton of ammo. Not on the market, but here... Oh, we, we don't have it. So, half ton of ammo in here as well, so we are good to go. 
and the rest needs to be cooling look at this we have no cooling in the mag this is one of those mags which stock wise stock build is so damn hot it's not optimal but it's good enough i'd say two srm6 three medium lasers good a good chunk of ammo put one of these those heat sinks in there yeah looking good all right so I think the last thing... Uh, by the way, the Nightstar is fine as is. We don't need to change anything there. That's a good mech. Um, the last thing that we're going to take a look at is the Quick Draw. The Quick Draw, I want this to be something like a fire support. Something that the Centurion does as well. Uh, it's Actually, it has decent speed with 81 kph. It could, it could also be something uh, like, a, like a Brawly Boy. We have enough d decent long-range support with the Warhammer... With the Jäger mech, with the Nightstar, the King... Nah, King Crab not. But with our uh, Marauder. So this guy is also gonna be built around short-range missiles. I know we have some good ones here. Actually, let's put one... One four? Do we have a good SRM4 here? No, not on the market. Now let's put an SRM4 in the center and an SRM6 on the side also. Give it two tons of ammo. Um, Should we make it three... Let's make it three. All right, we're gonna click the good old max armor button. All right, that's good. That means we can drop a little bit of leg armor down to 49. Yes, give it another half ton. So we have now two and a half tons for these two. Bunch of medium lasers, two extra single heat sinks, and we are at 60 tons. This mech really suffers from no structure and armor upgrades. Uh, it's, uh, it's kind of weird. It has very low weight to work with, but it's fine. And by the way, for all of you guys who have no idea what I'm talking about, um, this game, the, the like the full Battletech experience, the full tabletop experience, you could swap armor and engines and structure and, and lots of internals. This here is just uh, uh, the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. But anyway, I think we're good to go. We have optimized our max. Only took us 12 minutes. <laughs> You're looking for action, guys? It's coming in now. Let's see. What is this all about? The Dragon's Gambit. Refuse at your own risk. Uh, Presenter Dieron Sharilar Mori. Greetings, Commander. I am Presenter Sharilar Mori. You may not know me, but I know you intimately. Your unit's exploits have been of particular interest to me, specifically your role in the death of Presenter Yamata. Is that... Uh, that's, that's a reference to the Res Wrestlehawk DLC, right? His blood drips from your hands. Oh yeah, okay. If you believed your actions would be void of consequences, you are in for a rude awakening. But simply killing you would be a waste of talent and opportunity. So I have bided my time, waiting for the right moment to have you make amends for this transgression. That time is now. The Fatcom Alliance grows in power. The invasion of the Draconis Combine is a foregone conclusion. If Hans Davion prevails, it will trigger far-reaching consequences for the entire Inner Sphere. I cannot remain idle and allow the Federated Commonwealth to monopolize the entire star map. I suggest you uh, do not dismiss this offer out of hand and force me to seek reparations for the death of Presenter Yamata in a more hmm, aggressive manner. Refuse and you will find yourself no longer welcome in Comstar territory, especially Terra. I expect to hear from you soon. You will be contacted by my associate and the details of your first assignment will be laid out for you. Do not draw this out, Commander. We have six months to accept. I will accept. Right. Depart. Oh, wait, that's that's Vigo from Ghostbusters. <laughs> All right, we have uh, Presenter Marshal Anast Anastasius Fort. I try to pronounce the German names like German. All right. Okay. Hello, Commander. I am Presenter Marshal Anastasius Fort. You have made a wise decision. Given Sharila Mori's powers of persuasion, I knew you would elect to opt in. She is an adept. Uh, she's adept at knowing when to wield a scalpel or a hammer to move pieces on the game board in the direction she desires. There is a lot of ground to cover, and time is an enemy we must contend with. The future of the Draconis Combine will be decided in the coming months, helping assure it avoid helping assure it avoids oblivion. Wait, again, helping it ensure it avoids oblivion will square the debt your unit incurred following the death of Presenter Yamata. I inherited this unresolved issue from my predecessor. I have no wish to see you killed. 
If you fulfill your contract, I will happily wipe your slate clean of your debt, but not a moment before. It is vital you do not speak on your pact with us with anyone. The coordinator's disdain for mercenary units is well known. If your identity is revealed, you will be in great danger. You will be killed by the combined forces loyal to Takashi before I have to lift a finger to silence you. Now, with those unpleasantries out of the way, your course has been set. You are to travel to the Diaron military district, one of the prefecture capitals of the Draconis Combine. Once there, you will be contacted by Taishu Michi Kon Noketsuna, Diaron's newly appointed warlord. He will be our, uh, your primary handler uh, for the duration of this contract. In order to satisfy us, you need to satisfy, t satisfy him. Ha head out to the Diaron jump point. Good luck, Commander. Serve us well. Right, now we go. Zip. Cool. So, I spe specifically uh, rebuild our max before we jump because, again, that jump will take some time and in the meantime... Our mechs are being worked on. So we basically optimize a little bit. Objective updated. Hunchback refit, Centurion refit, Blackjack refit. It's coming through. Alrighty. Oh, by the way, how much money do we even have? I wasn't even looking. Uh huh. It's gonna be interesting. Also, it seems like we are playing four Kurita, right? That brings me to the second thing I wanna quickly do before we go anywhere. I want to quickly go for a paint job. And I've already uh, made up my mind a little bit beforehand. We definitely go for a Kurita, um, a Kurita paint job here. We could offend them by going Davian, I guess. <laughs> Let's not do it. No. Uh, and I want something that pops. So what we're going to be doing now is um, I want... Ooh, this looks actually quite good already. I mean, that's a good paint job. Should we just keep that? That venomous green here? And by the way, this is exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to have a mid-tone. I wanted to have like a dark tone and a light tone. Um, but my idea, my idea was a bit more like orangey. And my secondary was a bit more like off-white. Let's make it so. And then we have like a very dark black. I think I'm going to go with my, my first intention here. Um, give it a bit more pop. A bit more saturation here. All right. Okay, so that's gonna be that's gonna be my paint job for this playthrough. Looking good. So, mechs are ready. We are ready. Uh, we have a new store here with an LBX auto cannon. Not bad. Mm, Artemis LRMs. I don't really care about them in a tier uh, in, a, in an LRM five launcher. A mask. Ultra auto cannon ammo. Is there an ultra auto cannon? There is no ultra auto cannon. All right, guys. So. Uh, Cantina real quick, we have to kill Panthers, sure, we have to kill Assassins, yes, and we have to go to PDZ, uh, to Addicts, PDZ, and collect security scanners. We'll do it. Alright, here we go. First mission of the day. Commander. Oh, I like his face. Uh, he seems like a veteran. I am Taishu Michi no Kitsuna, warlord of the Diaron military district. I am pleased Mori has contacted you to aid us in the cause. I know... In doing so, you face great risk uh, courtesy of the short-sighted edict handed down by the Coordinator. Thanks to the tremendous foresight of Gunji no Kenrei Th Theodor Kurita, his calculated move to allow Wrestlehawk his independence uh, created a buffer state that would deny a full-scale invasion by the Lyran Commonwealth. So yeah, we have now we've created a wedge between the two big forces uh, in the last playthrough, in the last DLC. But in doing so, great pressure has been placed upon Diaron as it borders both halves the Fatcom Alliance. There is no time to mince words. Davian will bring down the hammer upon Diaron. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, this is the ground zero for an oncoming storm with two star nations set to pour through the borders. We must halt the Davian thrust as much as we can. If we can buy the time, there is a plan in place to push them into war of attrition that could give us a ray of hope. I'm folding you into the 5th Amphigian Light Assault Unit along with their General Kent Gerber and the Combine's very own mercenary security group, exempt from the death to the merc Mercenary's Edict. Uh, from the death to Mercenary's Edict. Wait, that's the name? Alright. Uh, Galba, also German name. Like, what's that? Some leather worker? Like a tanner? Something like that? 
uh, is aware of the arrangement, pleased to have the extra manpower at his disposal. This is a trial run to see how well you fit with his group. There's no time to spare. Davian forces have already hit our shores. We need to get you into a mech and onto the battlefield immediately. Uh, let's go. So, campaign missions. Very small battle arena. What? Alright. Is this really just a training run? Let's go salvage. Uh, we got like four and a half mil. It's fine. The mission area is under a heavy weather warning. It's ah. going to affect visibility. Alright, and we have 240 tons, and this is exactly our starting loadout here. I'm fine with this loadout. That seems good. Uh, you have a ballistic rating of maximum eight. You're currently at four. I'm gonna put you on the Jäger. Ah. Alright. Uh, you're fine here. Do we have any better people? Yes, I put you on the Hanshi so you can learn with the Ballistic. And you're also pretty good with energy weapons, which the hunch Hunchback has three of. Alright, ready up? Here we go. I'm excited, guys. Oh, by the way, for the missions, I'm gonna go, I'd say, down here. Commander, support the 5th Amphigian in repelling these Davion Raiders. Demonstrate that bringing you into the fold was not a miscalculation. Uh, Good to have you on board, Commander. I'm gonna go... Adding your type of firepower will help us drive these Fedcom rats out of here before they infect this whole damn place. And so do it like point, this. We'll Alright, here we go. Be alert, Commander. I am tracking multiple enemy Lyran ah. mechs on the axis of approach. Alright. So, do we have our laser here? Ooh, long cooldown on the large laser. Our main DPS is coming from our auto cannon anyway, so let's push in and see what we can do. Ah oh man, feels good to be in uh, in vanilla game again. This is the pace is so different. Who's shooting me? Tank. All right. Why is a tank already there? Oh, there we go. Should I just drop there? Like. Enemy mech in the area. I mean, I mean. There are enemy forces already firing at us. We should probably go there, right? Orion! Oop. Let's go. I'm gonna try to go for headshots mostly. Let's see if I can pull it off. Alright, got some good damage on his center torso. But I'm also getting a good damage on my center torso. Come on. Take the tank out real quick. Stupid Scorpion and his auto cannon 5. Oh yeah, and I should remember, the game is a bit deadlier if I'm the only one getting hit. Mm -hmm. Let's get that Orion out of the way. What's going on here? So, so much for my headshot idea. My mech is half dead because I'm facing a heavy alone. That doesn't seem right, man. Okay, so we have some support now coming from some missiles. My Centurion is doing a... A good job here. Do I have to manually uh, tell them to attack all the time? That feels wrong. Dodge the missiles. My right, no, my left side torso is almost broken. I guess we gotta go for the Jäger mech. Okay, we'll take it slow here. I'm so happy that I got my auto cannon and my large laser. More missiles. And he missed. That's good to see, that's good to hear. I should probably go in and roll with them, right? Come on, Mr. Missiles. Ah, it hurt me. We almost got him. That should be the last hit. Oh, we didn't quite get it. We didn't quite get it. That's the Jäger we're closing in. Let's actually jump over to him and have some fun. Oh, it's a freaking Warhammer. Oh, we are dead. We're so dead. We are so damn dead. Why are we dead? And the blackjack! Run! That can't be real! Oh boy, friends, follow me! Come on, come on, come on! I need to push through the walls. Quickly. I need cover. Attack Warhammer, now! Wait, 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 where, where is the freaking Centurion? Is he dead? Oh man. <laughs> Alright. This game escalates quickly. Okay, so we have some... We have some forces on the Warhammer now. Surprise! I'm in your back. Come on, get wrecked. There we go. Centurion seems to be down. I shouldn't face him like that. Uh -huh. 
Friends, what's going on there? Kill him. Kill that jack of blacks. Get him! Man, those AI pilots! Ooh, this is real crazy! Anyway, we are alive. We are alive. I could have probably skipped that part of the mission. This is like in... Oh, okay, so this feels very much like old Mech Commander. <laughs> All right. Okay. 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 I I skipped I skipped this part where I unite with my friends and yeah have more firepower on the battlefield. We gotta solo this. Yo guys, base has been taken already. Don't you worry, I took care of it. <laughs> okay. 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 Cool. No, it really felt like uh, the good old Mech Commander game back then, where there was uh, there was a Mad Cat in the base, and you could fight it. You could also cheese it a little bit with an airstrike, and the silos around him blowing up, hoping that you hit his cockpit randomly, and then salvage a Mad Cat in a second mission or so. Oh man, that was good. But yeah, it really feels like that, like high tier mission from the get go. Hey, we have taken the base. <laughs> Alright. Copy. All units, get on them. And get on them! So we have a defense base mission now. Uh-huh. Pretty good. My Marauder doesn't look great Max, anymore. No, they can't hold the base. So Nor does my Jäger mech. Ah, and we have Copy to actually act. keep the base alive. Yeah, it's the dropship. Let's go. Changing weapon groups here. All right. They dropped some rifleman action there. What was that? Oh, that's a, that's a warhammer. That is a. Uh, yeah, it's an assassin. Oh, you guys stay here. You guys stay here. I want you to be in cover. Let the let the other guys take uh, care of that and attract fire. Hey, can I, can I attract you? Yeah, right, the fight begins now. There's no good cover here, really. But hey. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. Uh, let's go for the assassin first, obviously. Oh, he's coming right towards us. We have a nice firing line set up. Uh, yeah, the bait has been taken. Cool. Uh, that means we can now go for the Warhammer. And eat his PVC fire right to the face. Literally the cockpit. Could you stop that, please? Holy crap. Cockpit about to blow. Wow. No. I mean, I have a light mech on me. I know. Gotta slow down the DPS a bit. Nah, we are not doing that. We go all in. Uh, if I get a line of sight. Can somebody please take that light mech away? Attract it. Come on. Let's go here. So that my Jäger mech is not getting headshot. The more you damage an enemy, the more you will attract the fire. So sw swapping your mechs makes actual sense to divert the fire from already injured mechs. Oh, auto cannon 20 burst fire. Did you hear that? On the right side from the Hunchy. What are you? Marauder? Hello. Uh oh. That was a little bit too late. Come on, get that Marauder, guys. Oh, wait, get that Shadowhawk. Jagamek almost down. Ah, get in front of my buddies. Okay, on the... Yeah, yeah, guys, fine. I'm gonna go hunchback now. Oh, where's the guy? Come on. <laughs> yes. That gun kicks. But it is devastating. We're dealing good damage. And again. Yeah, side tolls are down, PPC's gone. Field is clear. Secure. Got it. Still plenty of work to be done, but that's a damn good start. Damn good start. Tremendous work, Commander. I see you will be a great asset for the Combine moving forward. Preserve your strength and energy. You uh -huh. will need it. Alright. 
I wanna, I wanna quickly do a thing. Uh, give me a second. I wanna go like sound, music volume, a little down, master volume, sound effects, voice. I'm gonna drop the sound effects a little bit. Um, and the music. Just like that. So the voice is coming through a bit better and then I'm gonna increase my overall recording volume. I hope this is fine for you guys. So we can listen to the dialogue a bit better. Holy macaroni. That was scary. And that's what you get when you when you go in alone while you have friends waiting for you to help. <laughs> hey, we did it. I'm a professional. Um, 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 um like 20, 24 picks. Netsas, an assassin. I am not interested in an assassin. I feel like we have good mechs already. Which means that we should take weapon systems to make them better. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. Medium lasers, the workhorse of the weapons. We're gonna take all the good ones. Ones that are not trash. I'll take a small laser tier 3, sure. Seems good. Alright guys. So, acquiring your services is already paying off. Small victories may not mean much in the grand scheme of things, but any inch we can deny Davian and his death squad offers glimmers of hope. You gelled with the fifth Amphigian well. Gaba, Gerber, Gerber, is pleased to have you in their ranks. Continuing to fight with them should do well to shield you from the depth to mercenaries edict the coordinator stubbornly clings to. He has a penchant for short-sighted ignorance. Uh, you are on a fixed timeline now, Commander. Make any necessary repairs or refits. The next assignment promises to be unforgiving. You will need to be battle-ready at all times. Head to the jump point. Vega awaits. Your strength and resolve will be pushed to their breaking point. Cool. We get two extra million sea bills. Um, Cantina mission is not done yet. Oh, we have new ones. We're gonna, we're gonna collect some jump jets. We're gonna go and kill ravens. All right. I don't think that we can play these abandoned missions, right? Oh, we already have the jump jets. They're beautiful. Cool. So, Battle Mac, I'm gonna hit the repair all button. Should I optimize already? Give me a sec. Wait. We have that auto cannon 20 here. Probably. Ha yes, we have a tier 5. All right. A 4, actually. Let's make the hunch bot better. Uh, repair all. Start the work. Okay. Centurion. Auto cannon 10. Make it a tier 3. Repair all. Start work. Um, yeah, gun mech. Where were we? Six health on the head! <laughs> Alright. That was scary as hell. Uh, auto cannon 5. Burst fire. We have... <sighs> I could bring it like a regular auto cannon 5. Anything on the market that we want? Not really. Aim and makes the mech better. But I like the burst fire versions of these auto cannons on this particular mech here. Uh alright, let's let's just repair it. It's okay. Marauder was already good. Yep, repair all. Okay, so the Warhammer definitely needs one of these better PPCs that we found. Tier 3. It's a bunch of small lasers. We can upgrade one of them. Right. Start the work. What else did we find? An auto cannon 10, I believe. Uh, we have some goodish SRMs. Let's go, Kentaro. SRM 6. Tier 2 on the arm. Alright. Uh, what else? Wanna quickly check my, my good stuff. Yeah, there is an AC 20 that we have. That's pretty good. We even have another Gauss rifle. A uh, very good LRM 10, so it seems. Uh, ah, it's fine. It's fine. I, I mean, I already did some things here. I think we are actually good. Uh, give the king crab a better 20. Yeah, I don't know about the king crab even. Some kind of like weird, weird mech. Ah, yes, another thing I need to actually, I need to actually take care of this guy. Because right now we are under our maximum of armor. Which is a thing that cannot stand. <sighs> Make it big claw, small claw. Because we need we need some weight. And we need some range. Give it an auto cannon 10. So two for the 20. Doesn't even work like that. Uh-oh. 
I want to keep all of these heat sinks. This make is so hard to build, honestly, with the with the AC twenties. Do we have some? It's another five. And I want to make this like mid range. Ooh, this is this is really hard right now. Maybe I just don't care about it. I give it back the twenty. Drop the fifteen. Big max armor. Drop. Actually, we can drop a lot of leg armor. I think 69 was the number, right? Nope, not here. 67. 67 it is. Alright, so we have two tons of ammo, which needs to be more. I need two for each gun. Uh, make it make it like this. And now we have five tons. Uh, large laser is fine, question mark. Could give it a single PPC instead. Or we drop the large laser altogether and just go with the... Good old LRM-10. But four tons left. This is five. Ah, I hate it. I'm not a fan of this build right now. But hey, it's it's better than it was before. Cool. Uh, Nightstar is fine as is. I uh, said it already. Actually, one more thing. It's not. Because I want this head to be maxed out. We can easily drop some leg armor for it. No problem. This is a this is a very big weak spot of the Night Star. It's massive, a massive cockpit. Comes with double heat sinks. You know what? I think it actually doesn't need that much Gauss ammo. Uh, it runs an ERPPC, has some medium pulse. It's 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 fine. It's all right. I don't care. Good. So next mission coming up right now. These are the regular ones. Let's go and depart. Commander Hans Davion has his eyes fixed squarely on Vega. Not for the minerals or resources, but to satisfy his own ego. ISF reports still haven't accurately reflected the size of the force Davian has dispatched, but it is expected to be considerable. I do not know when the conflict will erupt, but it is imminent. I am transferring your contract to Gerber for the remainder of this assignment. We are getting handed around here, man. I wish you good fortune, Commander. Continue to fight with honor. Mm-hmm. Oh! Cutscene! Huh. The Draconis Combine has gone too far, inflicting harsh actions upon Federated citizens protesting against the conquerors that have invaded their lands. Uh -oh. The FedCom Alliance must initiate swift action in response to this senseless violence. It's gonna shoot, right? Machine guns. Uh oh. Stavion spews lies, only seeking to conquer, to dominate, all in the guise of liberation. Our skies are riddled with the enemy. Invasion is upon us. Stewards of Vega, your world will soon be under attack by the power-hungry invaders. We cannot withstand this onslaught. It is only a matter of time before our lands are overrun before our people are enslaved. Great sacrifice is required to prevail, to secure the freedom of our citizens, for the Combine to live on. Nah. That was so foreseeable. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I mean, just kill all the rioters, why not? Violence is the best way to get things done. No. Uh, all right, kill Locus, collect medium laser T0. Oh, we can do that. Kill J. Edgar is also a thing that we can easily do. Uh, by the way, quickly going to operations here and drop the pickup quest because uh, we will not play these. I don't think that we have the option, really. We're going to go with the Locus one, although I don't know if we will actually fight Locus. But anyway, here we are. Um, General Kent Galba. Ah, I ain't gonna blow smoke, Commander. You are in for a frying pan now. The Commonwealth is coming back to finish the job they started during the Fourth Succession War. Units are coming to plow right through us and spread through the Combine like a flesh-eating disease. 
the powers that we got no problem throwing the fifth into the meat grinder. They finally threw us a bone and gave us some teeth in the fight, but it ain't gonna bring back the men I've buried. You choose a life of war, collecting scars is part of the game. But I'm tired of carving names into headstones. You could fill a graveyard with the men that have bought... That have bought... Ah, bought it under my command. Hmm. I keep hearing tales from men living in ivory towers about reforms um, that will protect the boots on the ground. But until I see them bolted into solid reality, I ain't gonna hold my breath. Damn glad to have you uh, to inject some muscle into our ranks, Commander. But don't get stuck in the mud. The Combine's company's store scheme has boxed in merc units like yours many times. Before you realize you've stepped into a landmine, you've already been blown into a million pieces. But we'll need to put that on a back burner. Right now, we got a whole lot to fight a fight coming our way. Prep up, you're gonna be running through a gauntlet. Nice. We're gonna make life easy for them. Sure. We're not gonna make life easy for them. Shosho Nautica supporting us with the 14th Legion units. They made their name killing Lyran guards during the Fourth Succession War. So you're in good company. You'll also have artillery batteries set around the battle zone to help keeping him off your back. Hold off the invaders as long as you can, Commander. Don't give him an inch. Shosho Nautica and I will call the game. Give him hell! Cool. So it seems like a defense mission. Uh, let's go ahead and do just that. I'm gonna go with the salvage because I, I like salvage. So we have 10 tons more than we had before. I feel like the Centurion is an actual good mech here because it gives us some missile support and the long range auto or the mid range auto cannon 10 seems to be all right. I do like my Jaeger mech in this. I want to take the Hunchback out because it's more short ranged. I feel like the Blackjack is a good idea or the Warhammer, but that's to 10 tons too much now. I need to drop either the Jaeger or... Hmm. Wait, uh, the blackjack is 45, right? Yeah, so it's only a 5-ton drop. I could go with it, with overtonnage, and lose a bit of salvage and money, but that's not how we roll here. So, 75 tons down to 60. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit of short range. I kind of want to try the Warhammer here. Let's do it like this, all right? We have some kind of a brawler here that is able to intercept. It's fast enough, it has some burst with SRMs and medium lasers. And then we have a nice like long range setup with a little bit more tonnage than we had before. Alrighty guys, let's get into it. Let's see what we can do with particle projector cannons. Nice long range energy weapons that can burst enemies armor open. Alright, we have to hold out for 12 minutes. Alright. Protect the artillery batteries. Ah, so I believe a little bit of mobility would be nice here. You know, being able to move around, intercept attackers, to keep our artillery in, in line. to capture Vega during the fourth succession war. Help the fifth deny right. House Steiner victory in Vega once again. Ooh, cool map. We need to ensure cool Theodore Corita's map. reforms have a chance to make a difference. Come on, give me a line of sight. Let's just hope he's Hit a man up. of his word. Yes. Enough of my men have been uh, let's get the tank first because that thing has damage battle. galore. That party's on. He needs to go. Corita. Lamo. Okay, so Words he's down. We got hit soldier. big time. I rely on what I can see with my By what? Eyes. Is there something big you around here, right? Closing. Open fire! Open fire! Friendly artillery batteries it's active. just a scorpion. Ah, oh, we got that thing. There are lots and lots of tanks here. Gotta hit the scorpions. And we did. Come on, guys. Get him. PPCs are so slow. Oh god. We need to make sure to actually hit most of our shots possible. Once again, my uh, man the not like that. Vanguard standing at the mouth of hell. Give him hell. Oh what? We missed that? Crap. Uh, left side is heavily damaged. I'm gonna show my right side to this guy. And the small lasers? No. Come on. There we go. So, artillery is working. 
Uh, that Warhammer definitely needs to go quickly. Uh-huh. Nice hit. But, you know, he has the same weapons as I have. Good. Center torso. Almost open. He's on me. He hates me. Tried to shield with my right side. My left side is almost broken. There we go. The DPS from our Jäger makes a very nice combination with our PPC fire here. So we cut the enemies open with the big pinpoint damage. And then uh, the follow-up DPS is shredding them to pieces. Mando. These are nasty little buggers. We got him. Perfect. Nine minutes and a half. Where are my artillery emplacements? Uh, I don't know. By the way, Enforcer, very good medium mech. Very nasty. Auto Cannon 10, large laser. Has some great damage options. Not the greatest defense, though. It's a, it's a very nice, well-rounded medium skirmisher. Blackjack. Oh, here's the Enforcer. Let's get him. We are in his bag. Oh, God, that's a lot. Oh, he hates me. Right side shielding. Try to take cover for a second while my people are going in. And we are ready to shoot again. Clap. Not quite. Small lasers for the win. So, Centurion. Mm, auto cannon 10. I don't want to get hit by that. By the way, my mech is rather cool. As in cold. I can uh, handle the heat quite well, it seems. So we might want to rebuild a little bit to use our excess heat to put better weapons on the mech. We could, for example, drop the medium, uh, sorry, the small lasers for a pair of medium lasers. All right, let's see. What do we have here? Optional protect the artillery. Oh god, Archer, that thing needs to go quickly. Shadowhawk, Trebuchet. Uh, actually, the trap has almost as much firepower as the archer, but has way less armor. So it's easier to kill. Take out firepower as quickly as possible. There he is again. Not a good shot. Showing up. Come on, friends. Attack him. Move in. Commander. Uh, there's a guy right in our, in our midst here. I hate it. Mm. Utilize the rocks as cover if you can. Utilize the rocks as cover? What did he What was Rihanna saying there? I don't know. Okay. By the way, we should probably put our arms on a weapon group as well. So. We took a significant amount of damage on the Jägermack already. Hmm, our Centurion also doesn't look great anymore. Enemy comms array. Location designated. Try and knock it out if you can, and choke off their reinforcements. Locate enemy comms array. They will stop at nothing to seize Vegas. Okay, we underrun the archer's minimum distance. God damn and draw with him. From hell. Cannot He's shoot fighting. his uh, his um, missiles anymore. The yes. Oh, there it is. Good ha. Comms array destroyed. Got it. Okay, Blackjack, Hunchback. Uh, I'll go for the Hunchback first. Try to take his side torso. Okay. Okay, we got the Hunch. Almost got it. Come on. Just a bit more. There we go. Now we swivel over to the Blackjack, which has the next best DPS out of all of these. Oh god, my left side torso. I hate this open field fight now. But anyway, we're going in. Ugh. Right side twist. Get him. There we go. So again, the hunch is not really that big of a deal anymore, but we have to kill him in the end. Commando, nasty guy. Nasty little guy. Leg him. Okay, and kill him. And then that shevelin. I hate what my Centurion looks like. Look at the top right. But I at the same time like it because the damage is spread all over the mech. He used his armor so efficiently. Not letting anything crit through a single component, but spreading it. Uh, there was a dropship in this area. 
And there's a dropship right here, so we're getting pincered now. We gotta be fast with the killing. So that we can then turn around and face what's coming from the other side. Uh, small max. You know yeah. Stay here, little guy. Oh, cover. He had it. The forest was with him. Not anymore, though. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, got the locos. We actually have a task to kill spiders and locos. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. And that is the end of the spider. So, our... Oh, that was our dropship. Ah, that was Rihanna. Hey, hell yeah. So, um, we're gonna fight our way through this, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get him, boys. Take that. These small lasers are, again, just point defense weapons. They don't really deal a lot of damage, but they can fire fast. Super short range. That's something that we can just chip in if enemies are getting super close to us. Blackjack. Missed it horribly. That is an Orion. Get that side torso off of him. That's the, the missile parts there. Okay, and range for the smalls. Alright, LRM-15 almost disabled. He seems to be hot at this point. Beautiful. Blurp. Yeah, we, we, we probably got it. The question is, how long do we want to stay here? Will more enemies just spawn? I don't know. But again, I really like the, the heat management. Right next to our minimap down below, there is my heat scale. And the heat management is absolutely fine as is. And I believe we are even in a hot biome. Kind of messing with my heat management in general. So, we could probably drop a single heat sink in favor for two medium lasers instead of the smalls. And no, I cannot make it four because hard point restrictions. We have two medium and two small hard points, energy hard points, in the side torsos. So, I can only run small lasers on the smalls and medium lasers on the medium hard points. So, I cannot streamline the build for four mediums, sadly. Oh, these are the artillery emplacements. I see. And we actually have to fight our way through this. All right. Performing on you, Commander. Come on, friends. Help me out. We got some skirmishes here. So far, nice missions. I like that they um, they have a bit more diversity here compared to the regular ones. It's something unique that we have never seen before. Come at me, bro. Or run away. I mean, we hit him a bunch of times. But he's still alive. I wish I had extended range PPCs at this point. Would have probably dealt more damage and killed this in the last shot. We could stay here and kill the Locust. It's on our list to destroy. Cantina mission. Hey, buddy. Come over here. Thank you. Still out of range. Okay, so we got that guy. Do we have to kill commandos? I don't think so, but you know what? I'm gonna give the order to eliminate that guy. And we're gonna chill here. My people can definitely get this done alone, right? So our evac. Commando, dead. Perfect. So, we cleared the area. And I am again baffled by the Centurion. Ah, we got a crit finally on the site also. Our LRM got hit, but it's not destroyed, so we can repair. Well done, man. Whoever was on that Centurion, you get a medal and a promotion and a bonus and whatever else shows appreciation. A nice, firm handshake. A slap on the back of your head. I don't know. Whatever floats your boat. So, 27 picks. I mean, Shadowhawks are decent. You gotta rebuild that thing to make it good, though. What would I do with it? Shadowhawks have very sturdy mechs. They have very good hitboxes, so you can put them on the battlefield. And just like the Centurion, they can eat a bit of damage. We could just take another Centurion as well. I 
feel like I don't want to. I feel like I want better weapons. Tier 2 auto cannons. I'm gonna skip those. Tier 3 lasers. Hell yeah. LRMs. Anything that we should pick up for Cantina? No. So, in that case, I'm gonna pick the blackjack. Because I can sell it for good money. Alright. So, this is what it looks like. Skill level on energy weapons up. Um, in general, we're looking good. Let's take a look at our job rewards. Alright. So our upgrades are getting... Oh, there we go. Mission. Um, you know what? Looking at the time now, we're gonna start here in the next episode of the Dragon's Gambit, the new DLC for Mac Warrior 5. I'd say that was a lot of fun today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, especially in the first episode of a new playthrough. Uh, it would be nice if you, you know, comment, like, you know, all the things that YouTube likes. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.